What's up, Kansas City? This is Ryan Cheney of Ethnic Art Gallery. Uh, we have a very special guest with us this, this weekend. His name is Ron Witherspoon. He is from North Carolina by way of New York City. That is correct. And uh, Ryan, first of all, I want to tell you how much I appreciate you being here. It's been a pleasure. And uh, you know, it's really great to renew our relationship that we've had for over at least 20, 20 so years. So I'm going to start basically by asking you a few questions. The first one I'm going to ask. No, first I'd like to say, Ron, I'm honored, truly honored to be back with you again here in the great Kansas City, Missouri. Truly honored to be here. I think your facility here is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And um, I'm going to let you take it from there. Well, I have a few questions I'd like to ask you. Okay. Can you first tell us a little bit about yourself and how you have got in love with the arts? With the arts? Well, born and raised in Harlem, New York. And I guess the artistic um, bug or the gift from the creator came upon me around age six. I used to draw with pencil and um, when my parents could afford it, they would purchased some color pencils for me. <laughs> and um, I used to make my own little comic strips and what have And as I became older, the art part of my life um, became dormant for a minute. Mm -hmm. And um, a many, great many years later, I met a lovely young lady named Adele, oh, yeah. and she worked for the federal government as a social worker, and used to come home sometimes a bit depressed, so um, she used to model as well, and it sort of um, what came about was to relieve some of her depression, we started creating craft jewelry. Hmm. And Friday evening when she returned home from work and, and when I returned from my job as well at the time, we sit at the kitchen table and I started creating snakeskin bracelets and um, rosebud, natural rosebud earrings and what have you. And went on to um, apply for a consumer's fa affairs permit from the city of New York. Mm -hmm. And of course purchased a little folding table, a couple of folding chairs, and started entering into street fairs and church uh, by black events. And um, that led to creating a brooch, a figure pen, um, using some of the materials you see in the work here today. And the Creator, the good Lord, gave the vision to increase the scale and put it in a frame. And that was almost 30 years ago now. It's truly been a blessing. It's taken me all across this nation. I've met wonderful folks like you and your wife and your children, your family. And the work has been received by an abundance of folks. It's allowed me to cross door seals. If not for this gift, I would never cross the door seal. Well, I, I know your work has been received all over the country because most places I go to, they know your work. But one of, well, one of the things that you mentioned was that you started very young. Yes, the gift came very young. I work in a school district. And I see over and over again the youngsters wanting to draw, wanting to paint. And many have some pretty good talents. So how, what would you say to encourage them to uh, develop those talents and skills? Well, I believe each and every one of us has been endowed with a gift. Some lives dormant for an entire lifetime. And I would say to the parents of these young children to encourage them. You know, um, 
nurturing. And for the child, if they're really interested in becoming an artist or an artist then or whatever, to I know at a very young age it's kind of hard to stay true to the cause, mm -hmm. but if they can, if they have the desire, you know, it used to be this cliche about struggling artists. Mm -hmm. I've been blessed to put grandchildren through college, and um, it's been a blessed life. Well, that's absolutely wonderful. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to add? like to say to Kansas City. Uh, um, we're, we're on What's Up Kansas City. What's Up Kansas what's City. What's Up Kansas City. Um, Mr. Cheney, my good friend here, Ron, uh, brought me here a good 15 years ago or so when he was, his facility was located at 18th and Vine, <coughs> which is extremely historical. And I was overly impressed with not only his facility, but the neighborhood. And the facade that they had there from <laughs> the film, Kansas City. I would step outside this gallery and I'd look and I'd say, Ron, how come no one's coming out of the barbershop, the, uh, the cleaners, the tailor shop, the, the bar? And Ron said, Ron, look at them. <laughs> And then one of the windows up there, what do you see? And I can see the trees. <laughs> he said, that's the facade from the film Kansas City, which I thought was a great film. And I, had, I was afforded the opportunity. I was given a tour, because of Mr. Cheney, of the Jazz Museum, which I was really impressed with. I love great music. And a good friend of mine, fellow artist from uh, Inglewood, California, Michael Massenberg, created that fabulous mural that's in that facility. In the Blue Room. In the Blue Room. And I also had the opportunity to experience the Negro Baseball League Museum. I was overly impressed. I have a number of my fellow artists that comes to your great city to exhibit with the Plaza Arts Fair. And hopefully one day I'll have the opportunity to do that as well. Got a question for you. Uh, in reading your bio, there are some artists that um, influenced you over the years. Certainly. Would you like to address those artists and see you and, and talk about how they influenced your work? Cal Massey was um, pretty much my mentor. He's uh, an extremely fluid uh, artist and the man is just absolutely fabulous. I mean, his work is incredible. Um, Jacob Lawrence's work, uh, Elizabeth Catlett, I was honored to meet Mr. Howard Dodson, the director of the Schomburg in Harlem, New York City. I was born across the street in Harlem Hospital. Mm. When I came into the world, the Schomburg wasn't there. Mm. And in around the mid 90s, they had an event titled Black New York Artists of the 20th Century, which they displayed the works of 123 African-American artists that either lived in New York, resided in New York, uh, studied in New York, or had um, exhibited in New York. Out of the 123, there were 83 in attendance. Uh, Mr. Dodson expressed to us that it was like being a kid in a candy store. I was highly elated to be a participant. I now uh, have works in the permanent collection at the Schomburg. I have a question for you. It might be a bit controversial. Actually, it's been controversial for a number of years now. I just want to 
get your take on it. One of the things that come up continually is the difference between a black artist and the artist who paints and just say, I'm, just, my, my, I'm, I'm a black artist, but I don't do black art. How do you look at that particular Well, we as artists, we march, march to a great many drummers, you know? But you get, you get, the, you, you know the question I'm asking. Am I getting it clear? Um, so I'm I'm good 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 good. <laughs> well, yes, it's up to you. I mean, you know, because I, I, I get they're varying, uh, some artists don't want to be known as black artists, they want to be known as artists. And other artists can embrace it and say I'm a black artist. So I'm just asking you what your opinion is about that. Well, I'm an artist. I, I create what represents my heritage. Mm -hmm. um, um, growing up, um, the art that adorned my parents' home mm -hmm. did not represent our culture, basically in most cases. Um, it's kind of hard for me to answer that question, but um, it's very hard for me to answer that question. Okay. Well, well, let me ask you this thing. Uh, do you ever, you ever meet a business captain? Do you ever see her work at an exhibit? Uh, I've seen an exhibit. Okay. What do yeah, you think? Before she came, became ill, yeah. What, what did you think of a work? I mean, Off when, you, the when you go into, I guess what I'm asking, when you go into a gallery as an artist, do you look at it from an artistic point of view, or do you look at it from uh, a patron like like I would be? A bit of both. Um, I am absolutely amazed that how blessed we've been hmm. as we are the most. And I probably used to say this, but we're the most creative folk on the planet, bar none. Um, uh, we have one of um, Kansas City's finest here with us today, Mr. Lonnie. Lonnie Powell. Lonnie Powell. And I believe Lonnie would agree, would you not, Lonnie, that we're a gifted group of folks? I definitely We are truly blessed. We truly are. I don't think. We as a people actually realize just how blessed we are. Um, as you look around, you see the type of work I create. I believe we're the most elegant folk on the planet. That might be a bit, might sound a little biased, so, but we are. I mean, um, our style, our fashion, our movement, our uh, creativity. We are absolutely phenomenal. No doubt about it. Yeah. Well, I want to say to what's up, Kansas City? This is Ron Chaney, the Ethnic Art Gallery. Our guest this afternoon is Ron Witherspoon, and it's been a delight and a pleasure to have you in our space. I thank, thank you for you having me. Come Ron. back and see us again. I certainly will. Thank God bless you. Thank you so much. CMG wants you to always remember. The victory we call success goes to the best prepared. When you invest in your community, you are really just investing in yourself. Thanks!